Hello everybody and welcome to the Squonko podcast again. Dicks. I'm here joined with Sam and Simon, Sam and Gaming again. How are we doing guys? <sighs> nice to I'm, I'm alive. You're alive? I'm alive, I'm here. That's the best you're getting out of me. So, you know. <laughs> I'm here, I'm certainly not queer, but I'm here. How about you Simon, how are <laughs> you doing? I can't be fucked. Si- certain, si- oh, oh Jesus, there we go, starting off strong. Simon is certainly queer, there we go. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I was Sorry. talking about fucking messing up insults just before we started recording and yeah. losing that, losing all their impacts, and it's just happened. It's just happened. There's no, there's no way to recover from an insult like that. You know, it's just embarrassing, isn't it? You just, just started just like... talking. It's like, yeah, well, y- y- your your dad, mum, dad, mum, yeah, fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Sharon. You and your mum's mom. name is Sharon. <laughs> Oh shit! Is it? <laughs> yeah, which one? Yeah, which one are you wow! 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 Okay. What a what a. I don't know where to yeah, go with which this. Which one? Hey, eh? this is yeah. where Sam and Gaming comes from. We have we have fucking Sharons in our lives. There Norma- brother normally, from it's another a, mother. Yeah. yeah. Normally, it's a brother from another oh. mother, not the same mother. But this makes you brothers. So yeah, just going to start off with just games in general. Uh, how. I mean, Simon's been playing Skyrim. I know a lot. I, I tried it. And I can get into it. Have you been getting on with it, Simon? How many mods, Simon? How many mods? Yeah, that's that's I how you know was, when. Let you me know. check. Um, last time I checked, it was like ninety. <laughs> Jesus. So you know how good a game is. How many times Just you have to mod it? Loading the mod manager. Yeah, it's like uh, when when I played Fallout. I think uh, I had somewhere between forty oh, so and fifty. Nine, Ninety-five mods in total. Oh Jesus! Are they like most a of them? Mixture? Most of them are like. Like texture mods yeah. though, and um, like lighting and um, sound, just that kind of stuff, and a few like gameplay tweaks, like balancing and just that kind of guff. All that guff. Guff. I, I like how like uh, it was released as a special edition. And it looks nice on consoles, but on a PC, it's just like yeah. uh, it does not look nice on consoles. I think one of my favorite. They just put mods, God rays on it. <laughs> I think one of my favorite mods is um, better than Nando's, which is just a chicken texture. <laughs> What? what better than Nando? Also, like, yeah. also cheeky best man. name of a mod ever, right there. <laughs> <laughs> better than Nando's. It's a cheeky Nando. Uh, the best name for the mod is uh, No Snow Under Roof. Yeah, uh, you're telling me about that actually. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, though, it no might have a silly name. It might have a silly name, but it's actually a, a good immersion mod. A good point. You know, well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, yeah. Can't really expect him to think of everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's a good mod just... maker. He just doesn't know English. <laughs> Have you played? And you know, um, I've got you know, I've got those two K texture signs. I've got that. It's like, <laughs> like you, you walk through fucking uh, what is it, uh, Riverwood, and like, everything looks all right. You know, you got a couple of texture mods on, and you just look at the fucking sign, and it looks amazing. And you're like, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> this is the highlight of Skyrim Remastered right here. <laughs> this is the signs. future of gaming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, I was gonna say, have you been playing it, Sam? I have. I've got fifty-seven mods. Nice. I think I've Scrub. got. Um, there. <laughs> it's all right. I don't disable hardcore mods like you. You what? Sorry. I have made a very grave error in this game. <laughs> I <laughs> probably shouldn't be playing a game and doing a podcast. Uh, but no, like I think I've got about. I don't think I put that many on Skyrim Special Edition. I think I put about twenty, thirty on something like that. I know that. I just run. I just run through them every now and then and just pick up what I want. Yeah, I did that when I played uh, Fallout 4. I'd, like, every now and again, I'd open up uh, Nexus and see what was on there, and it's like 90% of the time it was uh, better naked bodies mods, and it was like, mm, okay. See, like, is, I don't, I know, of course, they do it for, uh, to not not nude, nudity in games for, like, uh, ratings and everything, so people yeah. can play it. But, like, there was a, a thing that kind of popped up the other day, it was the Watch Dogs 2 nudity. Hmm. And um, yeah, like, but it, w- it was a guy who got banned from PlayStation Live because after an explosion in the game, he found a nude. Well, he found a nude lady essentially. Like, her <laughs> kind of I'm not sure if her bottom half was blown off or if she was a prostitute with a no, nude hanging out. Um, she, yeah, but, she um, was just laying there with her legs open, and you could see up her <laughs> skirt. She just yeah, landed you in a see slutty a, position. A, a, a textured vagina there, and <laughs> uh, what's dog uh, Ubisoft immediately went? Oh yeah, we'll we'll. We'll take that out of the game immediately, so you know no one else has to uh, get banned for it. But it's like it's not Watch Dogs' fault that that guy shared it on the PlayStation no. Network. It's no. his fault. I feel yeah. like you know, 
in TV and film and everything, nudity is just becoming more and more frivolous. I mean, like Westworld, fucking Game of Thrones, all that shit. There's tits and dick everywhere. Yeah, tits and dick. Tits and arse. Also, it's not like it's the first time you've seen stuff like that in games. I mean, if you think of The Witcher, yeah. The Witcher's probably the most kind of full frontal one that I can think of. I mean, Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I feel like it's a... As long as it's... Like, it's kind of meant to be there... Then I'm fine with it as long as it's just you know tits for the sake of tits in a way. Yeah, it has to fit what's going on in the game and all that shit. And I mean, The Witcher is great because it's just gritty and it's fantasy world, and you know, yeah, not everyone fucking walks around with the undergarments on it, all it, that shit. Like, it's with, just with The Witcher, it's almost as if to say like, yeah, this game was set in this time and they didn't give a fuck back then. You know, it was just like yeah. just just sit back and enjoy it like the game should be played. We're not going to fucking censor it because we're not a bunch of pussies. You know? Yeah, and I just feel like watch uh, Ubisoft saying, "Oh yeah, we'll patch out all the nudity and everything." Where you know, I feel like there should be. It's like in a, like a perfect example, Fallout. Um, mm. If you come across a raider and they're wearing you know fucking caps on their breasts <laughs> and uh, like, like pasties, just, yeah, like they're just wearing like fucking just hubcaps on their breasts. If you take that armor off, all of a sudden they're wearing like a t-shirt and like panties and everything. It's like, well. Where did that come from? It just magically appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. So that's why I sometimes gravitate towards nude mods and everything. Not because, you know, I'm a pervert. I'm just like, oh yeah, she's missing her arms and legs and her head, but still, look at those tits. <laughs> oh just, yeah. You know. Decapitation. That's fine, as long as I get to see some boobs. <laughs> decaffeinated. <laughs> so yeah, I mean... It... <laughs> this woman's decaffeinated, look at her. It's a case of get a if coffee, you were that yeah. desperate to see boobs, you would just go on, like... Yeah, you're on the internet. Like, <laughs> for sake. You have the world of porn at your fingertips. I get what you mean. I get what you, you can search up socks on Google. Guy's and... fault. It's definitely the guy's fault for just sharing yeah. the picture because essentially, and like, you're breaking the terms and conditions. Yeah, that's exactly why you got in trouble. And yeah. you know, I I throw my hands up. Like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, Sony. I didn't mean to do that. I obviously you know didn't read the terms and conditions because who the fuck reads that? You shouldn't punish um, watchdogs for being progressive. Which is what yeah. they're doing. I feel like that is a progressive thing to put in. You know, there should be tits and vag in where, where it's appropriate. You know, if say if you go into a brothel and you know they're just thrusting away, yeah, yeah <laughs> that kind of jazz. No, even GTA is an eighteen, and that hasn't that's hardly got anything. Which is just I find strange. Yeah, mm. I think GTA yeah. Five got its rating mainly because of its like use of like the c word, like like it got really bad. I mean, it was. I think yeah. it, it had like a. I think it's, also, it was actually what have, n- noted what have video as. Game uh, developers got against dicks. By the way, <laughs> you never see like dicks on display. I know. I, I noticed that Watch Dogs. This is another thing that I'm actually kind of getting for. You've got like boobs and vag going on, and there's there's people you can meet in Watch Dogs that are pissing up against a wall who aren't wearing a thing, and their yeah. dicks just flapping about. And you're like, fucking well done. Like, yeah. like all these other games, like you only ever see like the woman naked. You never see like a dude naked, and it's just like because well, well, sex sells. I know, yeah. but it's just like yeah. at least make it e- like equal and fair. Like Jesus, well, who's going to be offended? I... Who's going to be offended? Homophobes? Fucking yeah, yeah, pretty much. exactly. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we'll no, no, shit. Like, Answer your own question this time. Oh, that's a dick. I don't want to see dick in my game. All of a sudden, you know, campaigns and probably lawsuits against the company. You see, we, we live in a world where. People are afraid of seeing gays kissing on a screen, but like the moment, le- like lesbians, that's perfectly fucking fine. But like, yeah. I mean, that's guys, like, nope, don't want that in my games, thanks. Well, it's, it's like, well, Mass Effect was kind of progressive because they had a bisexual character in the first game. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, constantly throughout, they've had lesbian romances, fucking gay romances. In the third one, there is actually a, a fully gay guy who you can yeah. bang. <laughs> you can so bang. it's. It's like that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Maybe in Andromeda, where they may, I don't know, push the boat out a little bit more in terms of what we see. But yeah. trends, you know, I've... when when does it get to a point where it's you know it's it's good and it's tasteful to just being straight up? Oh, look at this! They're two aliens banging. This is just you know soft core. I think it, I think it, yeah. I think if it's just like kind of if it doesn't really fit the world, if it feels like it's forced. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like, if Effect it just comes it out of well. nowhere, Mass Effect does it well because it like. You have the relationship between the characters, and any other time you see it, like if you think about Mass Effect One, you've got like the consort, and she essentially one of her services is like sex, which is essentially a oh, yeah, yeah, like, so it fits as the, the mission, world. as the mission, isn't it? It's just like yeah, yeah, you know, you hear all about how wonderful the consort is and 
how you know she helps people and I'm doing the helps with the yeah. fucking quotation mark. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you um, now though. I was playing it again recently with um, my girlfriend, and what happened was like um, I was playing it through with her choices because it was her first time seeing it. <clears throat> so I was saying you make all the choices, and it was only when I went to the console before being like a, a young man when I first played it in my like my teens. I was like, <gasps> cool, hot blue alien chick wants to bang me. This is awesome, <laughs> right? Girlfriend sitting there and. It was only when she realised the console scene when you first meet her. It's a bit rapey. Like she puts her, she forcibly like puts her hand on your cheek, like without even kind of like any kind of like um, <laughs> like invitation in a way. It's just like I'm my hands on your cheek. You're gonna accept this. It's like whoa. I've got oh, to say Jesus. something before <laughs> like, we carry on. Uh, this sounds like this is like the medieval times where women weren't allowed to show their ankles. <gasps> she touched my cheek. She's making an advancement. <laughs> no, it's not that. It was just it was just like so like, and it was while she was saying, "If you come back, I can give you a bit of extra." You know, I treat my friends really well. It's like, um, <laughs> I'll okay. give you a fat blowy. I never really thought well, about it before until I played it recently. I was like, it's actually quite rapey. This one. It's, it's, it's the thing. I think I'm gonna you. deny. I think. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to say no. Well, she doesn't give you anything anyway. She give you a bunch of words, and then when you say, "Oh, is that it? Can I get some banging?" That's when she bangs you. <laughs> yeah, but it's the lead up to it. She does offer, like she just does it's... say, essentially, like if you do this, then you know. To be fair, it is her character though. It is her character, character. <laughs> which she, is she why it's a, a bit rapey. <laughs> like, I have a question. Which about is why Massacre. I was just like, uh, you know what? You're right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go after this person. Like, I'm just gonna. You look sticky. <laughs> Uh, guys, uh, how often do you clean that pod of yours? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant that. You could say something else. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I need to know Mass Effect. <laughs> is it worth me playing it? Like, what sort of game is it? Oh god, like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know Fucking... what sort of game it is. Okay, first Mass Effect is an all right game. Um, if you're Fuck first it. going into it, you may think it's groundbreaking. And everything. It's like an RPG, like really proper. So you get to customize uh, so your armor. Like... Your... Inventory management, all of that shit. Is it like sci-fi, fan, there sci-fi RPG? Yeah, yeah. What, what, like, of course, there's combat. No, because like from it, everything I've seen of it, it's, it's all like talking scenes. So I didn't know if it was almost like an interactive like experience, like The Walking Dead by Telltale were. You know, I, I don't oh, know. you naive little boy. I've got <laughs> yeah. absolutely no idea what the game's like. No, Ma- Ma- I I love the Mass Effect games. I think it's they're a third great game series. Shooter that... with RPG elements. Oh right, yeah. okay. Well, I mean, sense. like, the later games turned into that, didn't they? Especially, they yeah. focused more on the action, less on the RPG. Which I'm okay with, there's still a good amount of it in there. Yeah. Essentially, yeah, um, it is like a third-person shooter, but with a really good story. Like, yeah. really good. And really compelling good. characters and locations, and even the side quests, you're like, oh man, I want to go... Like, in the first game, where it's like, you get a transmission from, like, the moon, and it's like, oh yeah, the AI on, on our moon base has, like, gone crazy, we need you to go to the moon and just, like, sort it out. And I remember my first time, like, going around in the um, the Mako tank on the moon and looking up and seeing Earth, and I was like, "This is awesome! I'm on <laughs> yeah, the fucking moon!" <laughs> like, it does capture the kind of shit. <laughs> it does capture the, the kind of the grand scope of the galaxy really, yeah. really well. Say scale, not scope. Um, <laughs> and it does it. I say it does it incredibly well. And all the characters that you meet, like, they're really well written, to be honest. Um, but the first game is a bit of a slog. Like it, it's got some mechanics that now I think about it. It's dated, yeah. Do kind of suck, yeah. It's still my favourite one. <laughs> but I mean, like, uh, like there's just so much armor and weapons that you've got to go through, and of course you have to equip every one of your team with such armor and weapons well, as well. So, so it sounds like uh, it's very much like that in any RPG. Like when any RPG that you've got a, a party on. It's always like yeah. equipping the, the right items with the right people at the right time, sort of thing. It's very sort of, uh, yeah. you know, like if you if you've, like you got to wear the what the right armor for the boss, sort of shit, you know. Mm. Uh, well, that that doesn't really matter so much. It's just you know, is this armor better than this armor? You know, mm. do you want more shielding or do you want more damage protection? That kind of shit. Yeah. But well, I mean, like in terms of like the power ups and stuff, you can just leave them on a squad level up, auto level up, sorry. Yeah. Where it will just, you know, pick all their shit for you, which sometimes I do if I'm just waffling through the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what that's just what I do now. Because like, play, if you want to play Mass Effect One again, oh, it's it's tough to complete. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's, that hard. No, no, no. It's, I'm not terms of difficulty, but slogging through it. So well, you you, have, when was the last time you slogged through it? Because every time I see you play Mass Effect, you always start from the second one. You never like, you've never properly gone back to it. Last time I checked. 
Uh, last time I went back to it is the character that I'm actually playing now, Mass Effect Three. So I did mean, you play I, Mass I went. One? F- yeah, I played oh. Mass Effect One. I did like literally everything. I bought all the DLC for it. Bought everything, and um, I because I was using Mass Effect Saves dot com. Yeah. And I was just getting people who completed the game, got all the, all the DLC and everything. But I yeah. thought, ah, screw it, I'll go through it myself. And I say, Mass Effect One, it, it doesn't rank high for me anymore. I mean, when I first played it, I thought it was fucking amazing. Yeah. But compared to the other two, I mean, it doesn't hold a candle. Oh yeah, it's definitely dated. But I know the story. I like the story of the first one because it definitely feels like an open and shut story. Mm. And the second well, one I mean, just felt like a kind of. It, the second one, the second one's really good, but the problem with the second one is it has that same problem that all second games have, like all middle games have, where it's just a through game. Yeah. It's well, I mean, like, yeah, but you know, unless the game's <laughs> not like a direct sequel, it's just there. It's like a new game, like the Final Fantasy yeah. games do that. It's like Final Fantasy Two has no yeah. like relation to Final Fantasy One, apart from the formula. But yeah, yeah, I'd recommend the Mass Effect games. I think you'd really like them. Yeah, yeah, they're very good. They're, just, they're really good. They capture your imagination. You're like you are just like a fucking space marine. You like to pick it up on the uh, does... Steam sales or something. Like, is it on Steam? I don't know. Uh, the first ones. Are. Two and three are. I'm not sure yeah. if they've got no. like, a complete edition where you can get. No, one and two are. Three isn't. Oh, three oh, isn't. Right. Yeah, three's Origin. I know. I'd say I'd imagine so they'll well be get... on there around the uh, the Christmas sales, which will be coming up fairly shortly. Yeah. To be honest, Kyle, you might as well just get them on Origin. Yeah. They well, have because no, uh, you can get you can get the first two. Cheap on Steam, yeah, and then the third one you can get on Origin. But all you to get them on Origin from Steam, you just find your product key on Steam and you just add it to your Origin. It yeah. works. Oh really? So that's oh, what I did. Me. Yeah. I, yeah. I had them Blow both me. on. I had. I, yeah, I got one and two, and then I was like, oh man, I want to have them all on Origin. And I checked it up, and it's like, yeah, you just uh, you just copy and paste your key from Steam to Origin, and it still works. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like at the moment though I've got like a bit too much to play, <laughs> like with uh, <laughs> you know the fact that I like we like we've been we've been playing a lot of Battlefield recently. Uh, we've been playing like Battlefield One. Uh, I, I bought Worms WMD and Planet Coaster yesterday. I've, yeah. Uh, what else? But the thing is with these games, these around. games are, are, aren't like ones that you. Yeah, they're not like Mass 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 Effect's different because it's like a single player story which you can just play. Whereas the ones you're talking about right now are like multiplayer kind of. Yeah, quick go jump in, do a game, jump out. Yeah, but the problem is like I get really into like the 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 quick and easy multiplayer games. Like if if I'm sitting at my desk, I'm like, oh, I'll play a couple of games of Battlefield. It's easier. Like then to actually sit down and concentrate on like a story and like just sit there for hours. I, 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 you know, sometimes I just prefer to like sit down and turn my brain off and just go full. Got to be in the right mood. Uh, I'm gonna shoot some people on battlefield, you know, like just go completely. Just veg out, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, veg out. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the exact right term I was thinking of. I know what you mean because I whenever whenever I want to play Civ, the only time I ever get in the mood, get in the mood is like when it's eleven or like fucking midnight, and I'm like, what's <laughs> that fucking playing point play now? Because I'm gonna be going to bed soon. Or and I'll when there's be like, like a few fucking turns big, in. Or when there's like a big group of you, like you're gonna like do like a good long sesh. So like, yeah. I mean, like we're going to do on the streams, hopefully. I mean, it's going to be you, me, and Weasel at the moment. And if Sam gets it and he's off, oh no, it's just Saturday we're doing it. So you're working, aren't you, Sam? Yes, yeah. yes, I am. Yeah, so we uh, won't be doing this for that. Uh, I'm sure we can find some other players and have like a, a big game Civ, which would be pretty cool. Maybe. But yeah, I say yeah. Uh, when do you actually have you started a new job already, Sam, or is it like? Next couple of days. Uh, induct the second induction is Friday, and then now uh, I start on Monday. Oh, so uh, what's today? Today, today's Thursday. It's Thursday. So is it? What is it like? Friday tomorrow? You mean or Friday yep. next week? All right. Friday so you, tomorrow. So you start on the twenty first, I think. Yeah. Nice, and that, that that's uh, it's, it's quite long hours, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's like three till ten. Well, no, not three right. till ten. Two till ten most of the weekday, and then one till nine on Saturdays. I, I, it's not so much that they're long hours it's just they're like awkward times like two to like fucking I say it's it's evening work so yeah yeah <laughs> I say that reminds me of when I worked shift work at Ice and that was fucking horrible it's a 24 yeah. hour operation so it's like um, I think it's like four till or I think it's either four or six till two in yeah. the morning then two till ten then ten till yeah. six I'm, I, I'm quite fortunate in the fact that like once half past five comes my work pretty much just switches off <laughs> so I can just sort of like go home and forget about work and, and and do whatever I want to do at home and then worry about it the next morning again unless I've got to be up at fucking half past four like it was <laughs> this morning 
that's that that's hard. That's hard. Definitely hard. Anyway, you are um, hard. <laughs> other than Mass Effect, have you been playing anything else recently? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Literally, I've powered, like, I have powered point. through in a week. I've powered through Mass Effect 2 and I'm currently working on 3. Because every time I've been like on Discord with Simon, we've looked over and like, oh, Sam's online. Oh, he's playing Mass Effect. He doesn't want to speak to us. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that is pretty much it. <laughs> so we're like, oh, I, I guess we'll put, find something else to do. I put on a, a stream on my left monitor, play Mass Effect on the right, and mm. just fully, fully go into it, fully immerse myself. Because yeah. I love the games, I love them so much. Probably one of my favourite game series, to be honest. Yeah. There was yes. something that really upset me though the other day. What's that? Um, it was a hoax on uh, one of my favourite, uh, another one of my favourite game series. It was a uh, Metro. Oh yeah. The the website, the author's website, put up a an article about um, Metro twenty thirty five. Mm. And I was like, oh my god, sweet! They're going to make another Metro game. It's going to be so good. And then uh, later on, I did some digging into it. And uh, yeah, turns out it was a fake. It was a complete fake. There is going to be, an, an, there's not going to be another Metro game yet. And oh, it's God. so upsetting. Because ah! I want one. <laughs> uh, and I love it. Jesus Christ. Crush you, you were saying about having a, a stream on like one of your monitors. It just reminded me that like, I, I said to myself at the beginning of November, I want to have like the announcement video for the live streams done between the 15th and the 22nd. I've done no recording, no planning. <laughs> the, like, the most I've done is like the, the, the schedule. And and the and the graphics. I mean, I do want to get something done, but I'm so stuck for ideas. I'm like, I've hit a wall. And I just don't know what to do for the announcement. And I'm just like, ah, what do I do? I haven't got a clue. Just flop your nuts out on the on the, the <laughs> with, desk with Christmas written with the on webcam. Them on Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too late? <laughs> Christ on one side, mess on the other. <laughs> Christ Slap mass. it about. Happy Christmas, everybody. Just uh, do like a half-assed attempt. Yeah, but that's Smushing. pretty much what I did last year. Where I was like, "Oh, we got to come up with an idea, guys." No, but make it so obvious that it's just like <laughs> the that well, that is like the whole point of it. Well, part of my problem was like, go on, G board, get a skin that's got a Christmas hat on. No, but yeah, like, I mean, that, that's what just, I said. I said that I didn't want to do it in Minecraft because like I've done it on Minecraft said, the past four years well, or whatever it is. But like, yeah, and Minecraft reason, sucks. The reason I do it on Minecraft is because it's so easy to do. You know, all I've got to do is build myself a fucking set and then go and then just do some voice acting on it. But with Gmod, I mean, I tried to do it with uh, Cron the other night actually. Um, we managed to get like a, 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 a Christmas map and I tried to build a set and it, it was just fucking horrible. It was so bad. And I, in the end, I was like, you know what, fuck this, I haven't planned this properly and we just gave up. We, we haven't like pursued it since. But like, I'm, like, I think my problem is like this year I haven't written up a script. Like I did like last year and the year before, because if I've got a script, I can imagine the scenes thanks to you know what we was taught at college. Like once once I've like got a script, I can envision my scenes and then I can plan it out. And it just works so much better. But I don't know. I just haven't gotten around to doing anything properly because I've been so fucking busy <laughs> and lazy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like it, it's weird that I I would do something that's just satirically lazy. You know, just yeah. That's, Retardedly lazy. So you just <laughs> sit in there, you just put a Christmas hat on, and then Christmas live stream comes up on the screen, and then that's it. <laughs> I was tempted yeah. just to have like a yeah. black screen for like 10 seconds, and about like three seconds in, I wanted a fart noise, and it says, We're streaming, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I thought, like that. I thought, no, that, that, that's, that, that's going to look shit, especially seeing as like, you know, I need to send this to like the charities so that they can spread the word around. So like, it, it just looks shit if I sent them a 10 second video of, <laughs> you know, it just looks so fucking shit and unprofessional. So uh, I need to, I need to come up with something. Uh, I mean, I need to come up with something. But, yeah, you know. Oh, fuck if I know. Might work. Yeah, I, I, I just think you should sit there, just put on a Santa hat, jack off. Happy Christmas. <laughs> just <laughs> in your pants, you know, stare, your Walter Whites. <laughs> stare menacingly, menacingly into the camera as I just jerk it. And then I end up in like uh, one of those uh, fucking streamer uh, compilations. that are like top ten Twitch fails. Guy leaves his webcam on while wanking. Uh, I love all of those because most of those are fake. <laughs> it's like yeah. this girl started masturbating during her stream. It's like yes, because she's a porn star. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> there was one uh, about I don't know. I think it was around March. I think of uh, that. There was a guy who he, he um, basically. I think he was set to stream at like say six o'clock, and at like ten to six, 
he put on he put on his stream and put like a uh, stream starting in ten minutes sort of thing up on the screen. So he was live broadcasting, just saying going to be live in ten minutes. But what he didn't realise was his webcam was on, and uh, yeah, he was jacking it. And it's like jacking it, fuck. <laughs> like, how bad have you got a fat? And this guy, he had like a fairly decent following. It wasn't like uh, someone with like ten followers. He had like a good, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand. He was like. You know, do we do we remember the one where it was uh, it was a girl who was on a web uh, on like a, a podcast chat thing on yeah. Twitch? I'm not sure if it was a podcast or not. And it was her and like five other people. And then mm. all of a sudden, she just leans back and pulls her top up. <laughs> and I just, like, that. The guy's just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and Think of all the views, guys. Off. But it's just like. How do you just forget that you're doing something like that? You don't. You don't just forget that you're on webcam to thousands of people. That's no, yeah, not that, something that, that crosses that your brain. <laughs> that that it's has just, to be planned. Sure. It's just, it makes me laugh. It really does. That You just think, people just think, oh yeah, she didn't mean to do it. And you know, she just started yeah. jilling off. It's like, no. She, yeah. she, she knew what she was doing. <laughs> she knew exactly what she was doing. <clears throat> Jesus yeah. Christ. And I, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Sam, you know I was saying to you the other day that uh, I was um, looking at getting that capture card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I went out and bought it this afternoon. Hey, nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, wor- it works absolutely fantastically. I plugged it in, and uh, it runs at sixty frames per second, no lag, and like it works like so much easier than I thought it was. Literally, just take the panel off, plug it in, shut the panel, and it works. <laughs> So fuck. Ooh, ooh, Carl, I want your opinion on something. What's your opinion on um, Nintendo shutting down the production line for Wii U? Um, I don't really have much of a different opinion. I mean, it's, like, it's like... Because it's, like, one of the shortest fucking production lines in the world. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm, I'm in, like, the minority here. I quite liked the Wii U. As, as, I know, like, a lot of people out there were like, oh, but it was, like, it wasn't ooh. that great. You know? <laughs> yeah. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was, a, like, quite a nice little console, like... It was it was smart looking. It, it had some fun titles on it. I mean, like I've still got mine and I still use mine. I like it. I still no still mates play it still borrowing mine and I completely forgot that they were borrowing it until they mentioned it the other day and said yeah. if I wanted it back and I was like oh I forgot you had it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I owned one. <laughs> yeah, I mean the thing is with the Wii U is that it was it was it wasn't so much a single player console. It was a multiplayer console, much like most of Wii. Uh, most most of Wii, most of Nintendo's consoles because they're, they're made for like family and friends, aren't they? They're not made for like hardcore gamers yeah. who sit there like fucking nineteen hours a day, that fucking I don't know, riping in their own fucking sweat, you know, like <laughs> bag of Cheetos <laughs> next to them, like PS4 mate, Call of Duty. They're not they're not. What like you that, got like. against Cheetos? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Nintendo consoles are made for like <laughs> oh the family and the friends, you know, you gotta play with the co-op and. Fucking fuck the Yashi's family. Yashi's Woolly World! And it's like... Yeah. Yay. I mean... But well, aren't they kind of switching it around now with the with the Switch? <laughs> no, I think they actually are. I think like, um, well, yeah, I think it's been officially announced that Skyrim, uh, I'm Ugh. assuming Special Edition, is going to be a launch light for it. So, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Well, would it have mods though? That's the thing. Yeah, probably. I'd imagine. I mean, like, why would you go, yeah, alright, we'll let you release your new game on our console, but... We will not let you put the mods on there like the other consoles like that we're trying to compete against. Why would you fucking well, do that? Just, That'd be a stupid idea. That's like well, PS4 only recently gave into that, so you know. <laughs> yeah, and PS4 they're um, they're now. pretty much screwing their fans because you can't have anything that isn't part of like the uh, the main content files of the yeah. game. I can't remember the name of it because but... they don't have control over it. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think Nintendo won't allow mod support to be honest because Nintendo aren't okay. great with mods. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean the main problem watching... with the Wii U, to be honest, was purely down to the fact that it was mainly just a first-party console. There wasn't really any third-party stuff on there. Yeah. Because um, I think they had a, a year one exclusivity deal with just for like first party, and yeah. when that ran out, no one wanted to make games for it because PS4 and Xbox Xbox One were coming out, <laughs> and they were better and easier to kind of code for. I mean, I know so, that there um, are going to be no uh, like some repeat exclusives coming back because uh, in the uh, what's it called in the what's called video uh, the release video if you know what I mean uh, there were scenes from like Mario Kart games and oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but they're not they're not making it 
they're not making no, it no, no, only no. first party again. That's the thing. I yeah, think yeah, yeah, no. originally when they were announcing a new console, they said it would be again, and it was like you idiots, <laughs> you yeah. fucking. Why would you shoot yourself in the foot again? I mean, and they quickly changed that around. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking love Nintendo games. I'm like, I'm like the one out of us three that like. Uh, whenever like a new Nintendo console comes out, I'm all over that shit. I fucking love it. Yeah. Because like I'm a self-proclaimed massive fanboy of Zelda and Pokemon and Mario and all that shit. I love it. But like. I don't know. Um, the, the Switch. I'm not sure what they're planning with it. I don't I think, like, I, I don't I think like it's going to last, to be fair. I like I, the Switch. I think the Switch is more your thing, though, Carl, because you really wanted the K1 tablet. Yeah, the um, uh, NVIDIA Shield. And I found out. I found out. Um, I, don't, I don't know if this is 100% true. I heard it on the No, so it could be. Hmm. Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, exactly. Click uh, that's why it could. Um, but... Like apparently, the K one is actually discontinued. That's <laughs> because it, it is Nvidia, a possibility because because the people the the way Nintendo are getting their technology for the for the um, Switch is from Nvidia. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now you say so, about the Nvidia K one yeah. tablet being discontinued. I did do a lot of research into it. And uh, there were a lot of rumours floating around that they were uh, releasing like a newer model because when I looked at the K1, it was already about one or two years old, and um, there were a lot of rumours floating around that like th- the stock was running out. It just so happened to be at the same time that I was looking for one, and it was like, what yeah. the fuck? And I waited for weeks for one to like come come back and stock, and it never did. And because of like the whole situation with my last job, I didn't get. Like I didn't get the cash in time, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, I can't be asked." And like, it's gone up in price ever so slightly. I think it's gone up by about ten, twenty quid, something like that. It's one hundred and seventy nine ninety nine now. The K one tablet. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, so you paying for something that technically still doesn't even exist? <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, no. The K one tablet is it, still in circulation. It has come back in. Like there is stock again everywhere now. Oh, but, like okay. at the time when I was looking for it, uh, it ran out of stock like everywhere. And when I was reading up on it online, like a lot of people were speculating that it had been discontinued and there was a new one in the works. You know, like how people get very sort of uh, what's it called, where they, they they look up shit and they see like copyrights being done and they get they make assumptions and it's all like that conspiracy sort of shit. theories. That's that's the word I was looking for. I couldn't. Oh, what, the theorists, word. yeah, the people who are just like, oh, this will you know, this will but come that's out. That's just I a theory. I data mined this fucking file from 12 years ago and it has a thing in it. And it's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> it has a thing in it that says that they might do this one day. It's like every time that Valve do a trademark for something that's related to, like, Half-Life 3. Oh, uh, God. Instantly, people just assume, oh, they're going to release Half-Life 3. What it actually means is, no, they're grabbing them before anyone else can do something with it and play another hoax. Yeah, they're, they're protecting just... protecting their IP. They're just... <laughs> like, <laughs> They're just fucking doing the the what is it called? Uh, ah, bugger! <laughs> Reinstating <laughs> their uh, copyright claim. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Because because it, it was coming to the end of its you know contract uh, contract, yeah. and they and had they want to wanna have it just in case they do want to do something. It doesn't necessarily mean they are going to do something. Uh, uh, it's been too long now. Is, I think. Yeah, a lot of the time it is just to protect the IP because there will be people that will snap it up and then make something up. Yeah, so yeah. Just so well, they I mean, can like, have it. Valve is just, I think, fuck themselves now. Because I, I don't think they're going to create any more AAA games. I think they're just going to really small little shit ones. Because yeah. as they yeah. say, you know, we don't want our, our you know, uh, workers to feel pressured into making games. We want them to just do whatever they want to do. Which means, you know, everyone's going to want to do something separate and well, nothing will ever get made. On the yeah, same, it's not like they're going to lose no, money for it, though. There was a lot of uh, <coughs> conspiracy and theory that they were uh, making Left 4 Dead 3 quite like quite a while ago. I don't know how true that is, but you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they'd made Left 4 Dead 3 because like um didn't they make like a new version of the source engine recently? Yeah, again though, I, I don't think that will happen. I just I don't yeah. I think Valve I mean, are done with making AAA games. I think they're just going to stick to, you know, I mean, personally, maintaining I'm Steam. Fast. I don't I don't like Left 4 Dead. <laughs> I don't like all, I, 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 think, I mean, I'm going to be like open here. Like, I don't even like most games on Source. I like, think the last game that Valve released few. was CS:GO, and that was just a retexture, essentially. Yeah, for CS Source, really. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, Simon. Yeah. How is the PSVR? Yeah. 
PSVR. I yeah. like it. It's good. What's it yeah. like? Is it worth uh, that? I found like, out by using it that I still have um, motion sickness from when I was a kid. So that's great. Oh, <laughs> you um, poor feel headset and you got motion <laughs> sickness. Well, that it's, it's alright because it only kicks in after like an hour or so so I can get like an hour in and then stop for like a few like 15 minutes and then just go for another hour stop um, throw up go back well on. I used to <laughs> it's not that bad but you know once I, I, I take my puke break I, I thought I didn't I thought I didn't have it anymore because I've, I haven't experienced it for such a long time because I used to get it in the I used to get car sick a lot when I was a kid but yeah. that was it was mainly because I was like trying to play the Game Boy in the car you know what I mean mm. oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you can't, you yeah, can't yeah, focus on anything that. Else yeah, because yeah, because it's yeah, your brain's getting confused because you're focusing on something and then your something else is happening to your body and it sends well, your body. Your body's in motion, but you're yeah, you're reading like say I used to do it all the time because I used to read in the car. Yeah. So your your mind your your body is in motion, but your mind is kind of focusing on something. Steady, yeah. So it gets so. confused. <laughs> just like oh god. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, with VR, it's a case of of course you're moving in VR, but your body isn't. So it's the same kind of thing in reverse. So like, I, because uh, it comes with a demo disc. So I tried Drive Club because I thought, fuck it, I'll try a driving game. Um, and after the race, I was like, oh god, <laughs> felt <laughs> sick. <laughs> to be fair, that is a driving game. It is quite a fast driving game as well. Yeah. So, so yeah. slower games I'd be better with, but um, well, yeah, it was quite fun though because I was like in VR and I was like, I was like checking all my mirrors during the race. Like, mm. who's coming up on me? <laughs> fuck shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like we gotta like you gotta let me have a, have a go on it at some point. I've always wanted to try VR. Yeah, man, you can come over when I'm free. But uh, yeah, yeah I was gonna say it's um, good. I was say like in the whole subject of like uh, being like moving and looking at a stationary object. Uh, it's like they said that they they couldn't. I, think, well, I can't remember if it was like le- like a legal issue, but that they genuinely couldn't put it in like uh, games so that you could move uh, in game while wearing the headset. Like you had to use like a teleportation method. Because like it confused the brain no, I'm so much. Sure, I'm pretty sure that's just the case because they haven't got anything. They haven't got the technology to move yet. I, know, I don't I'm, think it's I, a case of like a legal thing. I think it's just I, a case uh, of they, there isn't the technology for it. I am one of those people who is um, very much kind of at the moment anti VR because yet again gimmick. Um, yeah. yeah, all the games for it that I've seen haven't been fantastic I mean don't get me wrong Sam it, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's, it's a gimmick without a doubt but it is definitely it's, a gimmick it, it's, it's the first step in like something that we've been waiting for for fucking years yeah, like, no, but VR uh, has been like sort of like a, like a thing that like a thing of distant future from like since the, I don't know like, was it like the 80s or the 70s or something so like you know, Star like, Trek for us to be I, in I, that, <laughs> like sort of situation to be actually able to experience it I do want to experience it but I do also see what you're saying there's nothing game wise that's like super sort of like I need to fucking play that there's like there's no sort of like drive for me to want to go out and buy a VR title you know yeah that there well, is I'm one of those people who wants the final product I don't want to test this you know thing right now mm. yeah which is exactly the reason why even though I've got a piece of even though I've got some VR gear mm. this is exactly the reason why I went for PlayStation VR over um, the Vive like or... the Vive and the, yeah because the way I saw it was I don't want to have to spend 600 500 quid on this bit of kit which in a year or two will there'll be like there'll probably be a new version it'll probably be cheaper to make and manufacture because they'll figure different shit out it's just so infantile right now VR there's no point splashing out on like the top top one no definitely and also yeah. the PlayStation VR is so easy to set up it was just a fucking few cables that I slapped into like just HDMI cables going through like a processing unit yeah, it yeah. Gr- it's fine and it, and it works just fine like sure it's not probably like, the greatest resolution and stuff compared to the other ones but mm. it still looks really nice and it still plays really nice it's still accurate so at the end of the day I'd rather spend that I think it was like 300 quid I'd rather spend 300 quid than 500 or 600 is what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. for and something that, that, that's infantile that's perfectly fine. I mean, if you're gonna like, you know, if you just want to do it to try it, then yeah, definitely go PSVR way. Yeah, you know, don't because just... I, I wanted at least something. I wanted to be part of this kind of like new step, kind of new OS step. era. Yeah, this new step. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't want to be you foolish know, and just be like, because... ah, I'll just splash six hundred quid out for something that will be probably obsolete in about a couple of years because there'll be a new, a better one. <laughs> See, man, I, I know exactly where you're coming from because I've got the same sort of like, uh, I don't know, sort of <clears> thought. <throat> thought path there like I, I want to be part of it it's like part of the reason why uh whilst the oculus was still in um 
production. I wanted to get an Oculus Rift, and like, like people were like, oh yeah, but it's only got the dev kit. And I was like, yeah, but like, imagine having a dev kit of like one of the first VR stations of its fucking time. Yeah, that's that's fucking awesome. You know, like a few years down the line, that's gonna be fucking worth shitloads because you know yeah, it's right. the same sort of thing as having like line. an early NES. You know. It's like a new bit of it'll a, yeah, it'll be a collect, yeah, it'll, it'll really be a collect time. Like de- yeah. developer consoles, like just developer kits, like a, a developer PS3. Fuck knows how much that would sell for. Mate, have you seen you how know, much the I... fucking developer PS ones cost? Fucking hell. I feel mm. like the consoles that we make these days are not going to be worth much in the future because we're releasing them so quick and so fast. Their their value mm. deteriorates. Well, it's pretty much like that. It's somewhere so... between a year and a year and a half between consoles at the moment, isn't it? So I, I don't think stuff like that will be worth that much in the future. It's like mm. the really, really early VR crap that we got from like the early fucking... Oh, sorry, the late 80s to early 90s. That shit would <laughs> probably be worth more than, yeah, you know, but, if you bought a Vive. Well, the only you, VR... You I mean, definitely money on the money Oculus, that. Like, with the Oculus, that was like the first sort of thing of this century that was like, oh, this is a new step. This is virtual reality. And everyone went fucking ape shit. It was like... This is like this is incredible. I'm in my fucking game yeah. for the first time. You know, in the, the, in the other fucking virtual 80s, reality up to that point was just Virtual Boy by Nintendo. Yeah, the Virtual Boy, <laughs> which was just a it, screen. Was shit. Virtual the, it was just a screen on your face. It didn't have like head tracking. It was just yeah, like, it was like oh, a bipod. You might as well, as well. Just get, yeah, you might as well just get up close to your fucking TV. Is what it was. <laughs> get up close to your TV, go boss side, and I don't know, put a fucking red film over your screen. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like if we if we look at it like this way, the Virtual Boy was just fucking shit. I mean, there was yeah. like even that in its time, it was shit. It didn't sell a lot. Well, it would and still it wasn't even that good. I mean, the Oculus it was still Rift kind of sold uh, quite a few dev kits. You know, it was it was still a, an amazing leap forward in technology. You can't oh, really yeah. blame them. I mean, look what they had to work with back then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bit of fucking red film and some lenses. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's fucking yeah, they done. Were, I mean, to be fair, that was that was in Nintendo's height. I mean, fuck, yeah. do you remember the days when Nintendo were on top? Yeah, fuck, well, yeah. Well, like I think it's because fallen. at the time they had the most powerful consoles at that time. Yeah, and they, they had third-party games. I mean, look at the fucking SNES. That had, yeah. like, Final Fantasy. Well, that had so many, like, RPGs that paved the way for so much shit and all these, like, platforming and all these other kind of games. And it was just amazing. Like, compared to the Genesis, I mean, there was always the fight between the two. You see, but like, there was no question between the two because the snares was just more powerful. So, like, like, I mean, I could be completely talking out my ass here, but if I'm remembering this right, I think um, <laughs> one of Nintendo's biggest fucking downfalls was around the time the PS1 came out because the guys over at Sony that made the PS1 approached Nintendo about making like a CD console with them. Oh yeah, yeah. And like it just didn't go very well with Nintendo and like Nintendo was like, ah no, nah, we're not interested, not really. Yeah, like so Originally yeah, originally off. it was gonna be made. Originally it was the Nintendo PlayStation. Yeah. That'll then, never catch on. Yeah. And then they fucking did it and now they're like one of the like biggest competitors. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> don't fob off people with good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think Nintendo will die? Oh, I don't. Like I don't think they'll die. I think they'll just. I'll, I think they'll crawl <laughs> Fade into, into non-existence. the. Uh, no, I think. I think they'll crawl into the depths of um, handheld gaming and stay there because no one is. No one is competing, no. on, on in the handheld market right now at all. No. Yeah. And I, I mean, think like, they've realised that with the Switch. I think yeah. that's what they've done. I think they've looked at like, fuck, we are dominating the 3DS market in handheld. Like, no one wants to get a fucking Vita, even though I've got one. Yeah, I've got no one, one wants. Like shit. no one, no one plays it. No one uses it. Like we have got this, so why don't we make a console which you can just take out with you? Yeah. Like at the end of the day, I think that that is what they're seeing, and I can <laughs> I see can't, why. I can't wait to see all these fucking thefts of people's yeah. Switches. <laughs> yes. I mean, to it's be gonna fair, be like, great. I mean, the Switch, from, like it does look like a very interesting console. Like the, the concept of like, you know, oh, I think I'm gonna go out and I don't know, go see fucking one of my mates you just like clip your things in on the side and you chuck it in the car you fuck off to your friend's house and hey ho it still yeah. fucking works you pull out your yeah. fucking Nintendo Switch and you're still playing Breath of the Wild and then like you go home and you're like oh I've fed up this tiny screen I'll fucking put it on the big screen click done and like it, it, it just seems cool you know it's like here's one thing though like how many people do you think are going to die whilst playing this out and about because they're focusing on yet again the screen like it's like the Pokemon oh, that's gonna thing anyway. oh, fuck. that's oh, going to happen anyway. don't bring the fucking Pokemon selection. Selection. Kind of things is. The Pokemon That's just Go natural selection. Just, the Pokemon Go thing was just fucking stupid. That girl yeah. that walked out in front of a road, that was her fault for not fucking looking. Not the, not the game's fault. Yeah, but, but the devil's again, in the game, Kyle. 
Eh? The devil's in the game. The devil no. forced her to go across No, he's not. Road. It's just people being fucking stupid. That's what it is. Natural <laughs> selection. Bitch! <laughs> If you're going to be stupid enough to like concentrate on your phone instead of the road, then it, you deserve to die. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> sorry, not fucking sorry. <laughs> Just pure rage there. Like, it, it, like I don't know why, but it reminded me of like one of my absolute oh, biggest yeah. fucking pet hates. Right. And yeah, like, I mean, you can't, you can't like think about a concept that way. At the end of the day, there are stupid people in the world. And stupid people will always do stupid. You know, stupid is as stupid does. Like, fucking... Yeah, but at least people with the other consoles are stupid at home. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. Yeah, it's true. And then they tell you that they fucked your mum, and you're like, oh... I still don't get people that throw their controllers. I no, don't they understand get. controller <laughs> well, throwers. It's, it's, I don't understand. I'm so angry I'm going to throw this piece of this controller that's worth like 30, 40 quid at a wall. Oh no, it's broken. I mean, yeah, it's I mean, you've got to remember, these are the kind of people that play football games and think they're fun. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here in my corner of shame because when I was like 11, I headbutted my game with advance out of anger. <laughs> <laughs> Broke the screen. Just like... <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm gonna I get FIFA on. 18. Look at these fucking graphic updates. Mate. The same as FIFA 17, mate. The last good football game I played was Sensible Fucking Soccer. Done. <laughs> Sensible. <laughs> so- I, the game I played was Rocket League. Yeah, 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 Rocket, Rocket League. League's, yeah, Rocket League's fucking Rocket great. I mean, I mean, <laughs> me, you, and Charlie, Sam. I mean, when we get playing Rocket League, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> and we turn into a completely different <laughs> We become set of like the most toxic players. Because we just like, we just get so angry. I mean, Simon sat there and listened to us as we're playing, and it's just like, yeah. we just get so fucking offensive. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, like, it's trash talk, like, it's trash talk. Yeah. Speaking trash about talk. just like sports games, the, I, I, I kind of had this epiphany a while ago when it comes to sports games, because they're all just, of course, they're not for us. Get but there job. was there was one that I played um, a few years back, which I don't I don't know if they still make it if it's like the series. I think it was like um, not NBA. What's the fucking NFL? That's the one. Um, NFL. What was NFL? Like National Football League. All oh, right, National uh, Football League. The American one. American it? football. Yeah, yeah, American football. Right. And I was like, ugh, American football games. They they don't appeal to me. One because it, I don't even know how American football works. But this no. one was like a. When, I think they call it like Blitz or Blaze or something when they're like over the top they do it with like WWE as well and yeah. essentially what you could do is you could jump over people's heads and like smash them across the field oh fucking and hell and they were like big and stocky up top and I was like this is a fucking fun sports game it's still like the sport but it's like just mental like just picking people up and throwing them out of the way and then like <laughs> still running with the ball I was like, this is awesome! <laughs> this is how it should be, not like a realistic interpretation of sports. If I want that, I'll pick up a fucking ball and run around a field. No, yeah, I want to smash attempt- people's heads in with this fucking, well, like, oh. You'll attempt to <laughs> kick the ball and it will go about, I don't know, a foot, and then you'll be like, oh, I remembered I can't yeah. kick balls. <laughs> no, I don't know what it was called, but it was so, it was just so cool. It was so like, fun. I, ne- I never used to be a, like any good at, like, <laughs> fucking football as a kid. Like, Whenever like a ball was like, like you know, kicked to me, and I went to kick it, I'd I'd attempt to kick it straight, but it'd veer off to the left, like almost at a ninety degree angle. I just could not kick like footballs. I don't know what it was, but like I was just the worst. Cannot do it. That's why it I hated was, school. It was <laughs> NFL Blitz twenty seventeen. Jesus Christ! I have to look that it up. It was so stupid. <laughs> what? It was great. Look, look at this. Look at this image I'm about to link in the um, Discord. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look. What, it, uh, <laughs> what, what the fuck? Is that, is that Bigfoot? <laughs> you want to? You want to? You want to? You want to you wanna mess? You want to go? Nah, I don't think wow. I'd do Bigfoot. Wow. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Jesus! I don't like sports games though. I mean, I, I don't see the point in like. Buying a game that you could go yeah, and do outside. But... I mean, with like, I mean, I sort of understand games like Battlefield and Call of Duty because you know you can't just go. <laughs> you out can't and just shoot go someone. outside and start you know, a yeah. war. You, you can't just go outside <laughs> and fucking shoot someone. I mean, I mean, you could go and join the army, but like, who the fuck wants to do that? You know, it's like, oh, I think I'll just go and get myself killed. No, it's just you know, you go out, you buy yourself a game, you sit down in front of your PS4, or your PC, or whatever, and you, you play your game, and you shoot some people, and you feel great. But like. With football games, it's like just fucking get some of your mates together and go outside and kick a fucking ball. Yeah, but you—they're you, not Ronaldo's or you know fucking 
Aguera's, whatever the names are, you know? <laughs> Aguera. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Fucking... They're none of those kinds of people. They're just average Joe, you know? You know, my favourite footballer is um, Christina Aguilera. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you you were so proud of yourself when you said that the little fucking giggle <laughs> fucking hell for fuck's sake Jesus fucking Christ uh, mate the but... delivery of that joke was a little messy oh <laughs> fuck's oh! sake <laughs> <laughs> ruined lost all of its impact you'll only know funny <laughs> sort your fucking life out uh... for fuck's sake Simon <laughs> Oh god! Right, believe. when are we ra- when are we wrapping this shit up? It's been like fifty minutes. Yeah, uh, I was yeah, just thinking that. We'll probably wrap this one up. Okay. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, listen, tune in again next fucking month for some more bullshit. I don't know when the next one's going to be coming out because we'll be midway through the streams at this this point next month. Um, I don't know. Just check out the streams. It's kind of like a podcast. Don't make but any with video promises, things. Jesus. Hey, what? Dangerous what? to make promises. I'm not making any problems. I'm just saying, going on to the streams because there's definitely going to well. be streams next month. <laughs> We've fucking <laughs> planned them for the past fucking. How do you weeks. know? Can you see the future? Yes. What if aliens attack? There we go. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what if aliens right. attack? Well, then you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, then we're fucked, Simon. Then no one has a good time apart from the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, th- thanks for listening. Uh, like I said, tune in next time. I don't know what it's going to be, but just keep an eye on the channel. And uh, yeah, I think we're done here. So yeah, Bye. Bye.